Hey folks, it's Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health, and in this quick video, I want to talk to you about the connection between what's going on in your gut and what's going on in your brain. Now, I do want to point out I am not a psychiatrist, and my focus is not on mental health. Our focus and our expertise is in helping people with digestive issues and autoimmune diseases. And a lot of people with digestive issues and autoimmune diseases are dealing with issues like depression and anxiety. Now, sometimes that's because of all the challenges of being sick. If you're not sure you can leave the house because you're going to the bathroom 10 or more times a day, or you're facing up to all sorts of things that you can't do because of autoimmunity, well, then that's understandable that you can feel depressed or anxious about that. But it is more than that. We're learning that what goes on inside our guts can have a profound effect on what's going on inside our skulls. Now, there are two primary ways what's going on in our digestion can affect our brain. Are you ready? Write this down. The first is through inflammation. Now remember, inflammation means an active immune system. If we're eating foods that we're sensitive to, we're gonna trigger inflammation. Now for some people, that inflammation could manifest as aches or pains or other issues that are going on, but for some people, that inflammation is going to trigger brain dysfunction. And that can be things like brain fog, and it can be also B, mood issues like anxiety and depression. Now, one example of this is Tom. That's not his real name, uh, protecting his privacy. But Tom had been working with depression, had been dealing with depression for many years. Over the course of a few months, as we worked with Tom on his autoimmune issues, we eventually were able to isolate that when Tom ate dairy, his mood would sink. And when he stayed away from dairy, that black cloud would lift and he would feel better than he had in many years. Tom clearly had a dairy sensitivity and the way that it manifested was primarily in his mood. Now the second primary way that our gut influences our brains is through our gut bacteria. Now, if you haven't heard, our guts are home to trillions of microorganisms like bacteria, yeast, viruses, and at least for some of us, little parasites like worms and amoeba. We continue to discover the profound influence these microorganisms have on us, either helping us to be healthy or pushing us towards sickness. And one of the intriguing things that we continue to learn about is how all of these microorganisms affect our brain. We know that bacteria can produce chemicals like GABA and DOPAC, which is a precursor to dopamine. So these are neurotransmitters that can affect our brains and they can send signals through the vagus nerve, which is like a super highway between our guts and our brains. Now when our bacteria are healthy, they're sending good signals to our vagus nerve. And when they're not, they're sending signals that can mess with our brains and can mess with our moods. Now one example of this is Mary, also not her real name, who came to us with a lot of gut problems. She also mentioned that she battled with anxiety and phobias. Now over the months as we worked on Mary's gut, her digestion significantly improved. But in unexpected benefit that we got was that her anxiety improved too. She reported one day that her anxiety was way down, better than it had been in years. And this was despite the fact that we hadn't done anything directly to impact her anxiety or her brain function. She said that she'd been in stressful situations lately at work and at home, and normally that would cause her anxiety to just spiral, but it hadn't. And in fact, she was feeling calmer than she had in ages. All right, so there you have it. Clinical experience and scientific evidence continues to build that for many of us, what's going on in our digestion can have a significant impact with what is going on in our brains. We see this regularly as the gut gets better, people feel better, and things like depression and anxiety improve. And of course, because we aren't a brain sitting in a jar somewhere, Every part of your body is connected to every other part and real effective care requires treating all of you and not just one piece. 
All right. So now if you didn't know, I've created a number of free reports with some of our best information inside to help with a number of digestive and autoimmune issues. They are all available for free on our website. If you'd like to get the outline that we use to treat people's guts here at Aspire Natural Health, I'd like to offer you our quick guide for comprehensive gut healing. There are two easy ways that you can get it. The first is simply click the button down below and fill out the very short form and we will happily send that to you for free. The second, if you happen to be watching or listening with your cell phone or it's nearby, all you have to do is text the word gut healing. That's just one word, gut healing to 425-651-6851. Once again, that's gut healing, all one word, to 425-651-6851. And we will happily send that to you for free. So please either click down below or text us and we'll get that expert report over to you right away. At Aspire Natural Health, we are experts at treating digestive issues and autoimmune diseases. If that's you or a loved one, we would love to connect. We offer a no obligation, no pressure chat to see if we can help you and if we're the right fit to work together. If we are, we'll move forward. And if we're not, we will do our best to connect you with the person who can best help you. The only thing you have to lose is being unsure what the best next step is for you. So please call us now at 425-202-7849 or email us at info at aspirenaturalhealth.com. All right, folks, until next time, take care.